take a chance I like playing dumb Letting you figure me out But I was faded in my own defense So drop a bomb on all the things we dreamed about between E-Mouse and Polyons and Bit of Us will begin in three minutes. It's time. The UCL. I miss this place. Ha! Huh. You guys are back. I didn't expect you to keep watching after I lost last season. You know, losing last season really kicked me in the ass. I had to get my head on straight. Went back into draft this year. I'm ready to go now. It's time for the real last place to playoffs. All trainers, please enter battle positions. All trainers, please enter battle positions. I guess it's time. I'm sorry I couldn't go over my team with you before the season started. I guess you're just going to have to find out when I battle. Come on, I have one front row seat saved for a friend. First, Raichu comes in with the Jirachi and gets the static off. U turn from the Jirachi. Go into a nuzzle. I get a double paralyzed out there. That means Raichu, the tier 5 Pokemon, will do very good in this uh, game. However, I lose the Crocodile. Here comes Suicune. That's right. The Cabal is no more. Therefore, there is no one that could have stopped me in getting Suicune. It is time. This is my season. To win and there's Terra now so I go into a Terra Steel Suicune trying to get away from this Delmize out stall it from its damage I'm going to try to get a burn off it's just gonna take a couple tries and then finally I get the burn that means these earthquakes will do absolutely nothing pressure will be put down it anchor shot me so we're both stuck in here for a little bit while the, while the Delmize Gets to go down. I will get another rest off, keeping Suicune as a good physical wall for the rest of this game. He switches out into the Infernape. I gotta get out of there. Raichu will be sacrificed. I do not want to lose Suicune just yet. Superior will come in, and I will predict the switch away after the overheat and get the substitute off. Gunk Shot will miss. That means I retain my. Uh, substitute and I get a crit on the Leaf Storm. Superior is the Pokemon for me. Is the tier 2 for me. I get a Dragon Pulse killing the Salamence. The King has a good lead here but we're not done yet. There's still two Pokemon remaining against four. I'm trying to get a Paralyzed activation here so I can get a free substitute and get another attack off but it's not working i don't want to get too low i'm now hitting the yellow here yellow health i don't want to get any lower i'm going to switch back into the suicune suicune still physically defensive i can just rest again against this jirachi here so it can it has no opportunity to finish me off with that uh fire punch the whirlpool comes out against Suicune. Suicune, I know that Suicune knows this uh, Whirlpool set very well, but I go for the roar. He's still trying to kill me with this Whirlpool set, but I'm going to switch out because I know that it's Scarf, uh, it's Scarf on that Jirachi. So I go into the Cinderace knowing I can get some free hits off. I switch to the poison type, get the gunk shot, and all that's left is that 
Jirachi here. I'm gonna switch back out just to guarantee it. I'll give up the Tapu Lele. That's okay because the Bug Cinderace will win me the battle. That was it. Match over. I guess I didn't do too bad this time, huh? That Terra Suicune was definitely good. Going into Steel, I still had the defensive prowess to win. Let's head back to the locker room. Wow, it's good to see you guys again. But for anybody that's new, I might as well go over the UCL and explain a little bit about it. The UCL has 32 teams all playing against each other for a top prize. We all know I have Suicune, but I have nine other Pokemon joining me on this journey this season. Suicune will be joined by two top picks in Tapu Lele and returning Cinderace, who I wish I didn't give up last season. Superior is pretty good with the Terra now, as it can switch out of its uh, typing and be able to get some Leaf Storms off. The rest of the Pokemon are pretty good at utility or bring some damage when I need them to. The UCL is split up into two different conferences, the Indigo Conference and the Teal Conference this time. I'm in the Teal Conference. It doesn't really matter which side you're on, just know that I won't be facing the other side. With my first win under my belt, I think I'll call it a night until week two. Our next match in week two will be... You know, if you want ground floor seats, you can just pay for them next time. I appreciate you being a Finibus fan and watching last place to playoffs, but come on, I got a family to feed. This next player has a crazy strong Pokemon Blaziken. I gotta find a way to push through. Let's go. I lead off with my Glamora. It's a new Pokemon on my team, but I'm not really getting along with it. I switch it back out because I don't want to take any water move on the Glamora. I don't want to use any Terra on the Glamora at this time. Switch into Suicune. I forgot, I forgot that it had water absorb. It's not really a problem because nothing happened on that turn, but I do then switch out. Unfortunately, I was running a Focus Sash on the Raichu. I lost it right there with that damage. I do get off a uh, Paralyzation. I get two Paralyzations off that second week to do so. Raichu's really putting in work here. Poltergeist will do less than half. That means I will get both Toxic Debris off. With the Sludge Wave, I'm doing a little bit of damage here and there. He won't be able to kill the Glamora. The Gorgeist has to switch out. Here comes the Vaporeon again. Really tr having trouble with this. Vaporeon will get a Heal Bell and get rid of all the Paralyzation that I put down. And that's not very good for me. I'm, I'm really upset about that. Toxic World to get on to the Suicune there. At this point, we're just trading damage back and forth. I'm going to Roar. Trying to get this Toxic onto the Blaziken. I do get a successful roll, but the Lumberry comes into play. He's going to go for another Protect. I'm going for a Scald. I want damage. I knew they, the Protect was coming, so I wanted to go for the Scald. Instead, the Dragon-type comes out. Thinking that I'm going to Scald again, but i got to Roar again. i got to get it out of there. The uh, Rillaboom comes in now. Very unfortunate that the Vaporeon has Heal Bell, because if it didn't have Heal Bell, I would have been in the clear on this game so far. Grassy Glide will take out the Glamora. I will not have any more toxic spikes to put down so I going, I'm going to switch out to Tapu Lele, change the terrain here. The Gorgeist will come in as a sacrifice. It shows that I have a choice scarf on the Psychic. Terra Psychic on the Tapu Lele will kill off the Gorgeist first Pokemon U-turn will get rid of Raichu. That was very unfortunate for Raichu. Here comes the Thunderous uh, Incarnate doesn't, it has to get out of there, knows the Stone Edge is coming, and this Crocodile needs to switch out in front of the physical defense, Vaporeon. Heal Bell will come out now, but I still have the Toxic Spikes on. I will be able to get a big Psychic onto this Pokemon. He goes for a Toxic onto my Tapu Lele. That's not very good. It's putting the Tapu Lele on a timer. I want to switch out immediately. The Wish comes out now. I'm going to switch back out into the in front of this in front of this Thunderous, here comes the Cinderace. He gets a Prankster Defog off. However, I'm on ground, 
so he needs to use it two times unfortunately i lose this uh i lose the psychic terrain on that i should have switched into tapu lele again to keep the psychic terrain but he see he predicts on the switch and gets the swords dance onto this blaziken and there's nothing I can do now. I switch into the Suicune trying to out uh, just tank it. But the close combat is more than enough to kill my physical wall. And now the speed boosts are, are popping off. And it's really unfortunate now I just get killed. I get wiped on the rest of my Pokemon. That was a tough match, but you know you gotta face the top team sometime. That Super Blaziken was super strong. Looking at the boards, I'm still about halfway down the card. I'm gonna have to pick up some key wins if I want to make playoffs. I've got a rival battle next week, so I want to do my best. Alright bud, how do you keep making it past security? My next game is against Jamie. He's been a rival of mine for a couple seasons, and he was targeted by the Cabal last time as well. I rarely lose to him, so I think I'll have a good shot. Let's go. Alright, Finna Bus versus Jamie Trainer's Bulky Boys. I'm going to start off with the Cinder Race. He's going to start off with the Heat Train. I know that uh, he wants to get out, but I want to get the damage anyway get, and get some high uh, jump kicks off. So, I get a crit on the Don Fan, that's very good. Superior's gonna come in and eat up that Earthquake here. I've got a little defensive uh, variant on this, um, on this Superior. I don't think I have, I think I have one attack on this uh, Superior. I get a Glare off, that's my goal. I just wanna keep on getting stuns on this team. And here comes the Hitmonchan versus the Galvantula. I know Hitmonchan has been on my team for many seasons now. I always trust it very well. He's going to go for an Earthquake, trying to get some more damage, but that's not going to work. Crocodile is going to come in and get an Intimidate off onto the Stoutland. Stoutland will have to get out of there. That means that Crocodile will be able to get three uh, Stealth Rocks off. I want to get rid of whatever this Don Fan has. It has leftovers, so I get rid of its uh, healing capabilities there. Very nice for me. And then I keep on going. I want to keep uh, pushing the attack. The Gunk Shot will get poisoned onto Krugadal, but I still have the advantage here. Goes for an Ice Shards. That's not going to do enough without the ban, so the knockoff will be enough to get the first Pokemon kill of this game. However, this uh, Zapdos Galar is a little faster. Then the Crocodile, who was going to die anyway on the next turn, and gets the return kill. Pyro Ball will do big damage. Now it's time to see who is going to go faster. We know now that the Zapdos Galar has a Toy Scarf on, but it's dead now, so it doesn't even matter. And I wasted the Terra on this Cinderace, thinking he's going to go for a close combat. I really should not have used the Terra on the Cinderace. I'm going to go for even more Stalling. I want to chip down this Heatran, but it does have leftovers itself, so I'm not going to do too much damage there. I'm going to go for a substitute there, uh, thinking that it's going to attack, but it doesn't really matter. I'm going to get the Leap Seed off, but I'm foolish. I don't think... I forget about the sound move, the Bug Buzz, and I end up taking more damage than what I, what I needed to. Gonna go into this Hitmonchan versus the Amoongus. Amoongus is gonna put me to sleep. I'm just gonna try to wake up here. I don't really want to switch out into any of my damage, thinking that he might go for a poison attack, and I don't want to switch into Tapulele. Might go into a grass attack. I don't want to switch into Suicune. That's very bad for me now. I'm getting very low here. He's gonna go for a normal return. It's not gonna do enough. I'm gonna go for a Calm Mind, but I didn't calculate properly. And that's going to be, uh, I'm in kill range and I didn't get the burn. So Suicune will go down here. And I just did not play, I did not play up to scratch, to be honest with you. The Stoutland is Troy Scarfed and I end up dying. Jamie Trainer has upset the king and has won this battle. 
I can't believe I played like that. Let's go back to the locker room. Try to sort things out. So after that one, I feel pretty upset. It's not the fact that I lost to Jamie. It's just the fact that I lost. Being one and two now, it feels like it's the same as last season. And I'm just going back down the hole. But it was kind of odd how Jamie was playing. Same thing with Super Blaziken. How do they know in that exact moment the right move to press every single time? It's like there's some sort of force behind all this, informing them, making them stronger when it's time to face me. Do you know what runs the UCL? Battles in competitive sportsmanship? Consistency. They thrive off of it. So when a has-been king wants an extra win here or there, that's a problem. That's why we at the committee have developed a technology to control battles. We keep people like the king down, we make a profit. But how do you plan on controlling battles like that? You will see. We call it... The Brain. All right now, there's no way that you got access again. I can't have time for you. You know, I'm facing the commissioner of the whole league today. I gotta keep my head in the game. So next time, if you're not on a team, don't come down here. You know, I heard something was going on with him. Like, he's not playing like he used to. He's playing a lot worse. I wonder what's going on. He used to be a real competitor, but all competitors in the next battle, please make your way to the field. I'd really love to stay and chat with you, but I got another battle to play. I better hurry up and get out there. It's the last battle of this circuit. I'm gonna have to try to do my best to get this win. I get the Cleavor in. It's a new Pokemon. I switched it out for the Glamora. Switching into the Cinderace, I get the first kill easily. Then here comes the Hitmonchan versus the Greninja. Does that? I tank it up and Greninja has to get out of there. Thunder Punch will be a devastating hit onto the Sigilip. Hitmonchan goes down. Here comes the Cleavor again. Goes for an X Scizor quad resisted by the Coval Knight. Here comes Raichu. Raichu's going to tank up that Brave Bird. That means that this Corporal Knight needs to get out. I already predicted it went for a Grass Notch. It did a lot less damage than what I expected it to do. Suicune will come in, take an Earthquake, but I will be able to get a free hit off onto the Komala. Komala is going to scare me out. I gotta get rid of... Uh, I gotta get out of there. Here comes the Cleavor versus the Komala. Earthquake will not do any damage. Close combat will kill off the second Pokemon on his team. It is now 5-4. Uh, gonna get the Cleavor out of there. Suicune will tank another Earthquake. Getting a little low. I decide to go for a rest. I know that this Greninja is not going to be able to do that much damage on to me. Especially with no Omni Boost. It's not the Omni Boost. It is the Protean Greninja. Gunk Shot will not do that much damage. I go for a Calm Mind. So the Gunk Shot will not do that much damage. And the rest of his moves probably won't do that much damage either. The Gunk Shot will do chip me down a little bit. A little after little. But the rest will get me right back up to full health. He's going to U-turn into the Corval Knight. What kind of set is this Corval Knight? We already saw the Brave Bird, but is it going to be the Bulk Up or the Power Trip or what? Or is it just regular Brave Bird? What is it? He's going to go for a Bulk Up. Here comes the Stacking War. We're going to go for the Scald, try to get a Burn Off. I do get the Burn Off. That's going to keep me alive uh, a lot easier. The Scald will get, the, get him down even lower. He's going to Roost back up. So that I already see that I'm not doing over half so i gotta go for the combine but he terrors into the water that's gonna give him a resist onto my scalds but i just gotta keep on going for the combines he has pressure up i'm running out of pressure i'm running out of scald move i know you can't see it but i'm getting very low so i need to conserve i need to 
back up all the way to the times four and then go for the skull and I might just have enough to win the match there. Gonna go for another skull. It will not kill. He's gonna get the roost off again. I need to keep on just pressing onto this skull. I do have a slight uh, PP advantage even after the pressure on this Koval Knight. And I will have just one or two Skulls left after this pressure battle will take place. I can't let it uh, um, attack. I gotta keep it. I gotta make sure I keep uh, healthy. So I go for another Skull. He goes for an Iron Head for some reason. He should have went for Brave Bird. Didn't work out. He's gonna go for a, a trick. And I went for a combine. I should have just scalded there and used uh, another move, but Energy Ball will do nothing onto the Cinderace. Cinderace gets a court change there, and I'll be able to attack before the before he attacks. I get a good hit onto the Greninja. Very weak. And Cinderace will go for a sucker punch, thinking that I, he was scarfed or something. And I uh, Cinderace will go down. It's four versus two. It's almost done. I do get the Skull. Suicune comes back in and gets the kill. All that's left is this. Is the, um, the Zygarde. I throw in some extra Pokemon, but in the end, I still win the match. That was a good win. I gave him a little bit of differential that he shouldn't have gotten, but a win is a win. Let's look at the boards. Huh, that's odd. The board's not even working. It's like they didn't want to show the win. Hmm. Either way, come to think of it, having you here with the team hasn't been too bad. So I guess I'll make you an honorary member. You're with Finibus now. Let's all just go home and relax till the next week. I'll see you there.